Hi, my name is Trevor Tyson from KBandsTraining.com. Today we're going to be moving into a reactive stretch cord fast hands drill. With the reactive stretch cord, we're going to be able to apply resistance and assistance to our infield drills. So this is going to be a great drill for us to work on quick hands while getting outside forces, changing direction while we field the ball in a great position. First, we're going to need to set up two speed and agility cones about 15 feet apart. We're going to have our anchor placed off to the side, maxing out the resistance around that 20 foot mark. Remember, the reactive stretch cord can only stretch 20 feet, which is plenty of room for us to reap the benefits. So what we need to do is sit in a range that's about 15, 17, 18 feet to where we can continually move throughout the resistance, getting the benefits of the resistance and assistance sliding from side to side. Be sure those anchors are using the anchor strap around the wrist so that we can be sure that we're being safe throughout the entire drill. Athletes are going to place that 360 D-ring on the side of the anchor, and we're now going to get in a nice fielding position. The key here is to be explosive and be quick side to side, quickly fielding the ball and flipping it back to your partner. We're trying to strengthen our core and work on our footwork through a little bit different of resistance here, so make sure that you're staying centered and we move in a nice, even fashion. Hands over the feet, butt down in a nice fielding position, fielding the ball out front and quickly flipping it back. Remember, we're focused on footwork as well as hand speed, so quickly get the ball and get rid of it right away. As you move through the resistance and to the resistance, we're gonna get two completely different ways to stimulate our muscles. As we move into the resistance, we're gonna get that drag effect really building power out of our hip, and as we come back, we're gonna get that stability and balance that we're looking for as the reactive stretch cord is challenging us, bringing us back quickly. The set durations are set up depending on the athlete's ability. We wanna make sure that we're challenging hip strength and stability while still maintaining explosiveness. So the set duration should be set up towards the abilities of the athletes, meaning longer sets for stronger athletes and a little bit shorter sets until we build a little bit of strength. As long as our hands and feet are moving quickly, stretch this out and really challenge the hand speed and conditioning of each baseball player. Complete anywhere between six and eight sets. You can use this in a large group setting or a small compound set with other baseball specific drills. To grab your very own reactive stretch cord or check out more baseball specific training drills, head to kbandstraining.com and let's get started training today.